Well, hey everybody I got a little different kind of video I want to put out uh, I just I just installed a, a dash cam set on my truck not too long ago and <laughs> in the first few weeks of having it I already caught some stuff on that I just want this is gonna be more of one of those videos of a what would you do or what what kind of person are you or in this situation how do you act um nothing nothing really bad on my part it's just something i saw and i was witness to and I, i'm just like i know what i tell uh my family how i try and teach my daughter she's 16 and learning how to drive she's gonna get her driver's license <laughs> These chickens or something well them roosters are going at it anyway uh, i had to stop for a few seconds uh, um so it's like one of one of those what would you do go ahead and take a look at this video i'm gonna put up i'm gonna let you see it and uh maybe i don't know how i'm gonna do this i don't know if i'm gonna let it go all the way through a stop and do a like what what would you do at this point what kind of person are you at this point and see so go ahead and take a look a lot of people give them credit for and so uh, uh those the big men working out and that'll be interesting this weekend with all those defensive linemen too good gracious uh you're gonna see them peel off the board in the first two rounds uh tremendously and you, you may have uh, 16 to 17 defensive linemen uh, going to so now that you saw the video up to this point or wherever we're at on it um what would you do would you this there's a white a little white car approaching in the turning lane on coming towards me on the left and you can see it and the traffic's pretty thick up in this area there's always it's always a congestive area right here and the traffic on the right hand side of the lane i'm in is flowing with me it's all it looks two lanes and it is and it goes that that road on the right hand side of me goes to the right and goes down to the main highway heading off to the right and mine continues on down the straight north so anyway watching see what happens behind me and uh you tell me how you feel about this this weekend with all those defensive linemen too good gracious uh you're gonna see them peel off the board in the first two rounds uh tremendously and you, you may have 16 to 17 defensive linemen uh, going the first two rounds of the draft so uh, and uh, it is what it is and uh, big man draft and so we'll see a lot about it uh, in now that you saw that pretty pretty uh, radical stuff there now who's at fault here and I know instantly everybody's gonna say you know that guy driving or whoever's driving that white car should have been paying attention and you know make sure their lanes are clear but if you look closely at the woman i believe it's a woman driving the the truck behind me that woman stops and gonna be like real nice i'm gonna be all nice and uh, let you go and wave that person off you, you may have uh, 16 to 17 17 defensive linemen uh, going the first two rounds of the draft so uh, and uh, it is what it is. now in the past if I ever have done this to anyone I'm checking my rear view mirrors making sure no one's coming in that right lane that can smack into that person and I'm certainly not waving them on see this is what you do when you're trying to help out and be nice they just ruin that person day two people's day and i bet you they just went on with themselves some markets uh that's that's a hot commodity offensive and defensive linemen so uh we'll play for it all comes down to this two teams that were picked i believe one and two i know Nichols. Is but you can see clearly that that person is waving them on yeah go ahead go go and it's i mean damn near head-on collision there a pretty pretty bad one too because uh in the traffic not long after that i saw some emergency vehicles heading towards the scene and that that's the uh 
emergency vehicle, the first responders to go and help someone that's injured. Mm, I'm making the sister come quiet. Mm, so good. Mm, March 31st and eating citrus like that. Mm, so good. So, me, I, you know, it goes through my mind. Like, I could have stopped and let that white car go ahead in front of me, but I would rather be the butthole and not let them go. Because if I sat there and I wave them on and something happens, I, I have to be acutely aware of everybody's position. That car is mine and any oncoming traffic, well, oncoming traffic from behind. So, why not just let the person wait it out to, to a, a position where they can see clearly. When you try and help someone like this, you setting them up for a, a terrible thing. So anyway, that's my take on it. I tell my family, when I talk to my wife, we've done gotten in arguments and calls and stuff before. But uh, I'm like, look, I don't care if someone thinks you're a butthole, an a-hole or not. Follow the laws. The proper thing to do is continue on in your traffic and move on and let them wait for their solid turning ability, their, their clear turn ability to happen. Their clear path to cross the street happens and let them turn in. You're not, you're not supposed to hold up traffic behind you. you can, that person who stopped in the middle of the road, someone could plow in the back of them. And then that person's at fault for them stopping in the middle of traffic. I hate when people do that because then you don't know what's going on in front of them. And all of a sudden they put their brakes on and everybody, you see, you can see the momentum of the traffic going. And I've already ran into someone when I was way back in college from doing this. The, the person decided to stop and let someone into the road on a wet road and I saw the traffic moving ahead of him so I was continuing going and I ran into the back of him. Guess who's at fault? Of course, the person in the back. So anyway, I have strong feelings against this kind of stuff. So you tell me, what kind of person are you? Would you let him, would you have stopped all the traffic, let them go and then waved them on just to have them smash head on into someone? Is that is that how how would you feel? I mean, I know you're being nice. Not you, but, you know. I know that person's being nice, but look what they did. Anyway, that's all I got for that one.